Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. It's been a little bit since the last upload. i uh, not sure when this one's even going to get up there. I uh, had some storm last week, lost power for like five days. And as I'm filming this, I'm actually still without internet. Um, so not sure when I can do the upload. Uh, today's video, uh, we're going to be discussing Islander bracelets. You know, I've been in the watch thing now for it's going to be almost it'll be a year in September so it's almost a year and I've been manufacturing bracelets obviously go on the watches so a you know a follow-on an obvious follow-on is want you to sell the bracelets directly so I will so I'm going to show you three or four different straps and bracelets today uh, that you can purchase and then uh, certainly going to be making a lot more for my own wrist check so this guy was on Instagram the other day. This is the ISL 18. I put on a red seconds hand and a polished center link bracelet and I love it. I own the Yachtmaster, the blue Yachtmaster 40. And obviously that was the inspiration for this watch. But man, uh, this thing, it looks great. I love it. And then I'm wearing the original. Well, not the original. This is number ISL 02, but it's one of the first watches to ever come into the store. Uh, let's check out some of these uh, Islander bracelets. So we'll start in the beginning. Um, this is an ISL 12, the 11 and 12 dual time bezel and 12 with the dive bezel. Uh, these I got these turtle styles in late last year and I went with a sandblasted case on a two-piece nylon strap. I, so what I did first was I wanted to, people actually started asking me for this strap because they really liked it. So first thing I did was I replicated the strap. So I have the strap for sale. Uh, it's 18 bucks. It is a two piece nylon strap. Excellent stitching. You can see nice blasted hardware. Not brushed. Whoops. Whoops. Not brushed. It's blasted to match the case of the watch, but it'll work with a met with any other, um, you know, satin finish watch that's not polished simply because you don't wear the hardware and the watch head on the same side of the wrist. So I think it works fine. Just a standard strap. I $18 if I didn't mention it, 22 millimeter lug width. So it'll work on any 22 millimeter lug since it's a straight, since it's a straight run. And this is the watch that was meant to go on. So. A lot of people started asking, well, do you have a bracelet for this watch? And this happened when I first released it. And I said, well, you know, you can get like from strap code, you can get a brushed finished bracelet, but it won't match because this is sandblasted and brushed has, you know, kind of lines in it. And I just didn't think it was the right fit. So what I did was I went out and I procured sandblasted bracelets. Now I'll admit the color match is certainly not perfect. The bracelet is darker than the case of the watch. Um, not 100% happy with the way it came out, but it is the way it came out. I'm not going to do these sandblasted turtles again. Uh, so if you want to pick up a bracelet for it, uh, this would be the bracelet that you'd want. That's uh, too much exposure there. I will say that the difference in color is certainly highlighted by the lights that I'm in, in regular lighting or room lighting. It does not look as uh, disparate, but it's 49 bucks. It's a curved end link, fits the case great. Standard double push button, flip lock, deployant, three position micro adjust, and of course, screws for the sizing. Uh, so obviously this will fit any turtle, but you definitely want to put it on a sand blasted turtle. Uh, that's, that is my opinion. Oh, um, all the bracelets, bracelets I'm going to show you are about 175 millimeters long. If you need extra links, um, we should be able to provide. So then, released a few weeks ago was this, excuse me, this brush turtle. A few different styles, and of course, I then went ahead and I had manufactured a whole bunch of brushed bracelets for the turtle. So they have curved have curved end links. I never sold an oyster for the, oh, excuse me, a three link for the turtle, um, uh, only for the SKX uh, and the Seiko OEM one. Uh, so this is my first foray into it. Uh, so it's standard three link bracelet, solid links, nice end links machined to match the case, obviously. Same kind of clasp, don't mind the plastic kind of floating away. Just 
flip lock, double push button, milled scissor clasp. Fits like a dream, 59 bucks. Uh, and it will fit not only the Islander turtle cases, again, it'll fit any turtle case, your SRP, your Seiko SRP 773, 775, 777, 779, SRP 821, SRP C91, the SRP D, any of the turtle cases, this will fit. Um, I have not tried on the Captain Willard, the SPB models, but I'm fairly certain it won't fit. Those are, I believe, a different case curvature. Uh, but So this is bracelet number three. So, so far you've had the black two-piece nylon, you've had the sand-blasted uh, turtle, and now the brush turtle. And lastly, when I did these guys, the uh, kind of the smallerish samurais, I did this kind of angled link bracelet, which I really dig. Um, so I said, okay, well, why don't we make a whole bunch of extras and we'll sell them because they'll fit any Seiko Samurai. Uh, Samurai's SRPB 51, 53. Um, could put it on 55, but it's the wrong case color. Your SRP C93, uh, your SRP Ds. Any watch that is colloquially known as a Samurai, this will fit. So again, brushed, finished, machined, Solid, all these have solid end links, beautiful solid links, screws for adjusting, same three position micro adjust clasp. Again, $59, fits like a dream. So if you're looking to upgrade your Samurai, this is the bracelet that I highly recommend, um, simply because the cut of the links matches uh, the cut of the case with those sharp angles. I think it just looks amazing. And then before we finish, well, fun for two seconds, only because I, I brought <laughs> I brought it to light in the opening. So here's that ISL 18 with the red seconds and the power center in place bracelet. And here is uh, my Yachtmaster 40, as you can see. Again, I, I, I get it. You know, 300 and change in my right hand and 90, whatever they, I don't even know what they were for, 9,500 in my left hand. This is certainly a better built watch. I'm, I'm, I'm not denying that at all. But if you want the look and you dig it, I'll tell you, it's it does it does a great job. Um, I'm really in love with it. It's certainly a thicker case. It's more it's bulkier. The bracelet's not as silky. It's not platinum on the bezel. Um, I could think of a, a thousand ways that this is better. But for saving so much money, uh, this is the way to go. I've worn it now for a few days. Um, I only took out <laughs> the Rolex for the for an Instagram picture. Other than that, it's going to go back away because this is the one that I'm wearing now. Uh, I think that'll do it. This has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you some new Islander bracelets for sale. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below, and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.